Welcome to Analytics with Max. In this video, we're going to see about what is data flows in Azure Data Factory, how you are going to implement it. Let's try to check it out as part of this video. So data flows, the definition is are visually designed data transformation. Basically, when you talk about uh, data analytics and BI, we all say like uh, ETL, right? So data factory is all about ETL and this data flow actually does that data transformation. So this allows data engineers to develop data transformation logic without writing a code. This is very important. You don't need to write any code over here in data factory and inside the data flows while you're doing a transformation, you need to use certain drag and drop options and you can perform the GUI itself. That is the core advantage of Microsoft as well as this tool. And data flows are executed as activities within the Azure Data Factory pipelines. Even this we are going to say it. Basically once you define the data flows, then you can call this data flow inside your pipelines for execution. That is the whole flow that we are going to see as a demo today. So what we are going to do today, we have a, one CSV file in a storage account, which we can consider as unclean data. We will do certain transformation, like we combine two columns and we select only few columns out of it uh, from the product. Then we will store it in the product clean inside the another folder in the storage block. That is what we are going to do today. This channel contains a free content that covers uh, Power BI, MS BI and uh, introductions or basics about Azure as well as this data factory playlist as well. Please utilize this free content, share this channel with your friends and colleagues. So we will see uh, the files first. Right now we are in a storage account where we can uh, see the containers and inside the containers we have um, two folders here source files so let me show product file we have a product and you can see the name category name parent band cost price and tax what we are going to do it here we will combine uh, the category name and parent brand and we will rename it as categ new category name then we will ignore this tax column so the final output will be name new category name brand and cost price this is what a kind of transformation we are trying to perform so what uh, we need here once we take this file and transform it then we we'll load it inside this process folder that is what we are going to do and let's go to our data factory so I have designed already a data flow. Try to create the new data flow. So in order to create a data flow, click on new data flow. Now I will walk you through uh, what are the things. This is the graph area and this is the um, parameters or uh, the properties area where you can see here it always starts with the source. So basically data flows purpose is to get the data from the source and do the transformation. So let's try to pick up one source. Our source, as you already aware in our previous video, we have a link service created. We have a data set created. We can use the same data set. So once you create your data set, you can use it either in the pipeline or in multiple data flows. That is the concept. So let's add a source. Our source is uh, nothing but a data set, which is product sa that is storage account data set right we have choose this one i will walk you through all these options in later video because each option requires some definition and we need some explanations to do so for simplicity right now i will just uh, choose the data set that is product sa then just go for uh, default options here projections you see all the columns that are available name category name parent name cost everything was there then optimize inspect data preview don't do anything right now 
just you have configured the source here now you can see here there is a plus symbol in each uh, step right this is the first step now you can add next when you click on plus what transformation you are going to do so these are the different transformations like join and in the schema modifier derived column select aggregate surrogate key and you have a filters and sort and other um, uh, destination i mean while you are finally loading you need to use the sync so this is the different types of transformations only these kind of transformations you can perform in the um, data flow now we will go for uh, derived column here so we will do all other transformations in later part of the videos for you to understand to kick start we will go, use the simple transformation that is derived column so i have added derived column now i click on this now in derived column just click on it and go and expand this now what you are going to do i'm going to add a new column right so let me add okay already you have a column here i will rename it as as i said category new okay category new and expression what is expression you, if you know the expression you can write otherwise you can open this open expression builder once you click on this i just want to combine those two columns right for that i have uh, these columns over here uh, started appearing okay so i i said category name i need to concatenate okay and then parent brand whether this plus right along with this plus it, it can be plus or ambassador even i'm not sure about the syntaxes let's try to explore it okay so either it should be plus or uh, ambassador symbol for adding the two columns so in order to differentiate between the category name and parent brand i'm adding the hyphen in between so let's save and finish so this is what the um kind of transformation the it is one kind of transformation basically okay then you can use these options as i said i will explain it to you later then this is what we have right now so we have derived this column right this is one transformation we did so either uh, one <coughs> so what how put it will uh, behave right now is like let's say you have this uh, data now along with the five columns you will also have a sixth column okay sixth column you will have with the new see you can see six columns total is six columns so that that will have additional column with all the records now as i said another transformation i want to make which is nothing but i want to select only few columns there so that is a select transformation this will minimize or remove unnecessary columns as i said i don't want the tax price i combined already these two into new category category new so i don't want these two as well so select whichever you don't require then click on delete so now my product table contains product name new category name as well as the cost price that's it if you want to change the order you can change it this is how you need to change so now this is one of the uh, another transformation so you have a source file you can have multiple transformation as such uh, you can keep on adding until you get the required output so now i'm fine with all the transformations now i can add it to the destination so my destination is my sync you can sync it here so in this sync i have created another data set that is product sa clean okay this i have went uh, created yesterday so this is nothing same like you create for uh, product sa so let me show you one maybe i will create one more for you so new data set then this stores in the storage account gen2 click on continue uh, i'm going to store again in a 
csv so click on csv and link service as storage location and browse i'm going to store it here that is process folder click on ok and i don't have any subfolders i just use the file name as product underscore clean okay this is the my file name then click on ok um it, it says like uh, path doesn't found it's it's okay uh, you can uh, ignore this for now you can click on okay right now if you provide the name right now okay product underscore clean this is fine so anyway you created the file delimited so it will be fine so now what happens this delimited i will name it as product underscore storage account underscore clean two okay it's a data set so data set that's it now i can publish this yeah uh, i cannot publish because in your data flow right we are designing a data flow you need to configure it unless some objects you are properly configuring it will not allow so now i need to choose the data set here i come to data flows i choose the new data set that created clean to that's it now the sync is also created uh, that is from my uh, product i derived one column then i selecting only three columns and then syncing into a new target all these options we will check it later so that's all we have configured the um, the uh, data flows let's try to publish so this is as simple as that um, now how you can run this uh, data flows we have different ways to uh, run we will go for the conventional way like we have one pipeline then in that pipeline we will call this data flow let me delete this so create one new pipeline that we have already created if you don't know if you're watching for the first time create new pipeline that's it it will create a new pipeline you can see in move and transform you have two options yesterday we checked about uh, copy data we will try to uh, differentiate between these two the pipeline and data flow all other stuffs for now how you can call this data flow go to pipeline create pipeline then transform data flows now you need to choose the data flow you created it will drop down now we have created this is the data flow one okay let me rename it properly that is product clean demo now once you come here product clean demo that's it so we have this uh, data flow now and i can call it as product now we have this uh, pipeline ready this pipeline purpose is to clean the product now even i can call this pipeline as product so product pipeline will call the product clean demo uh, data flow so obviously we need to name properly whatever you have kept that's fine for now so once you are configured this now we need to publish what's the error okay this has a, yesterday we had this uh, pipeline i can remove this it's okay publishing now everything is fine it will be deployed now you can quickly check the storage account how it looks like uh, storage account uh, we already seen the source files let's go and check the uh, target right now processed we don't have any files uh, right now is there is some success file here let's try to run i'm everything i'm doing it 
right now uh, in the debug mode so it will take a uh, while because right now it is uh, starting the clusters in the debug mode so <coughs> we need to start this data flow debug first then we can initiate the debug now once you click on this now the actual uh, data flow runs which takes the data from the one place in the storage account and loads into the target storage account it's very uh, small amount of data but it takes uh, quite a uh, long time let's see what it does you can see what is the status it's in queue actually so it starts it runs in the server right and the cluster actually okay now you can see uh, the pipelines as well the pipeline also succeeded let's go and check our uh, files here processed where you get the uh, file here and you can check the uh, output here name category new cost price only three columns we have got and you can see those two uh, columns are combined that is category and a brand is combined then you got the uh, new column here so we achieved uh, one quick transformation as part of this video in upcoming videos we will explore lot more options in the data transformation if you like this video hit the thumbs up button and comment below for queries and do remember that data is your asset